Assalamualaikum and a very good day. So now we are in week 8 which is still under chapter 3 coordinate system. So for this week 8 can be divided into three subtopics. We have here the first one distance, equation of lines and also equation of plane. So to the first topic which is distance, we have two theorems here. The first theorem is for distance in two dimensional coordinate system. So the distance is denoted by the symbol D. Let's say you have two points in two dimensional coordinate system which is given by PX1, Y1 and also the second one PX2, Y2 in two dimensional coordinate system. You can compute this D by taking a square root of the second coordinate minus the first coordinate of x to the power of 2 plus the second coordinate of y minus the first coordinate of y to the power of 2. And then we go to how can we compute distance in three-dimensional coordinate system. We have learned before this, if we go to three-dimensional coordinate system, means that you will have coordinate x, y, and z. So here we have three points, x1, y1, z1, and also the second points here, also we have three points. And then when we want to compute distance, we need to, we only need to add this part, which is we have here z2 minus z1 to the power of 2. So you have additional terms here. We go to this example 1. How can we compute distance for two-dimensional coordinate system? Let's say the question asks us to find the distance of line AB, which is A is at 2, 4 and B is at 8, 9. So in this case, when I plot here, for example, I have the first point A is at 2, 4. Let's say here is 2 and then here is 4. For example, this one is location for 2, 4. And then I have a second point of B is at 8, 9. Let's say we have here 8 and then 9 is somewhere here, for example. Okay, so here we have a point 8, 9. Of course, when we connect all these, these two points will have a straight line. And now we want to compute distance means that you want to find the distance between these two points. So how to do that? We use the formula we have d equal to the square root of x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square. So here we know our first x, this one is x1, y1 and this one is x2, y2. Means that here when I substitute in this formula, I will have here a minus 2 square plus 9 minus 4 square which is when we solve this we will have here 6 to the power of 2 plus 5 to the power of 2 so we'll have got the square root of 36 plus 25 when you solve this we will got a distance 7.81 Unit. Now we go to this example 2. Example 2 asks us to find the distance between the points 2, negative 1, 7 and 1, negative 3, 5. So here the difference only we have 3 points for each coordinate. When we want to compute distance, it is equal to the formula P is a square root of x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square plus z2 minus z1 square. So, plus we will have here a square root of our second x. Here is 1. So, 1 minus 2 square plus negative 3 minus 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 negative 1. So, plus 1 square and then plus z2 which is 5 minus 7 square means that here we'll have got a square root of negative 1 square plus negative 2 square plus 2 square when we solve it we'll have here 1 plus 4 plus 4 so equal to the square root of 9 which is equal to 3 unit next we want to know about what kind of equation of line Equation of line can be divided into two. First is parametric equation and the second one is symmetric equation. We'll go one by one here. For the parametric equation first, if we have the line in 3D that passes through the point P0, X0, Y0, Z0 and 
this line is parallel to a non-zero vector V, which is AI plus BJ plus CK. So, the parametric equation can be written as X equal to X0 plus AT, Y equal to Y0 plus BT, Z equal to Z0 plus CT. Or in vector form, we can write as this R equal to R0 plus Vt. So, this kind of equation, we call it as parametric equation. Usually, in your example exercise and also in your assessment, you will use this kind of parametric equation instead of this vector form. So, please bear in mind the parametric equation is given by this kind of equation. If you refer to this figure, what does it mean here? If we have here this line, this is a line L that passes through a point P0, X0, Y0, Z0, means that this one is a point X0, Y0 and Z0. And then this line is parallel to this vector V, okay, which is this V equal to AI plus BJ plus BK. So this line L is parallel to this vector V, means that our equation of this line which is x, y, z. This is just point but it can be transformed into equation. So this x, how can we compute x? It will equal to x0 which is this point on L plus a t. And this a comes from this vector form. And then y equal to y0 plus c t. t equal to z0 plus c t. And this B and C also comes from this vector form. And this X0, Y0, and Z0 comes from this point. So this one, we call it as parametric equation, which is equation of line in parametric form. Next, we go to symmetric equation. Symmetric equation is another equation that can be used to describe a line. It can be obtained by solving each element for T and equate the result. What does it mean here? We have known before this, our equation in terms of parametric form is given by x equal to x0 plus at, y equal to y0 plus bt, and z equal to z0 plus ct. So this parametric form we can transform into symmetric equation by written t as a subject. So if I write for the first equation t as a subject, I will have here t equal to x minus x0 divided by a. And for the second equation, we'll have t equal to y minus y0 divided by b. And the third one, t equal to z minus z0 over c. So this form, which is t as a subject, we call it asymmetric equation. Let's start to do this example one. The question asks us to find parametric equation and symmetric equation of the line L that passing through the point P, 2, 4, negative 1 and parallel to the vector V, 4i plus 5j minus 7k. And also there is additional question here which is you need to find two more points that lies on the line L. So now based on this question we extract what actually the question asks you to do. The first thing you need to find parametric equation. The second thing you need to find symmetric equation. And the third thing you need to find two more points that lies on line L means that there are three terms there are three things that you need to find for this question. So, what information that we can get from the question? From here, we know that the line passes through point P, 2, 4, negative 1. Means that this one is P0, X0, Y0, and P0. And then the line is parallel to the vector V, which is this is V. Means that here is V equal to AI plus BJ plus CK where we have here A equal to 4, B equal to 5, and C equal to negative 7. So once we know about this information, next, what knowledge that you have learned so far to solve this example? So you have learned parametric form of equation and also symmetric form of equation. From here, you know that based on the knowledge previously, the line L in 3D that passes through the points P0, X0, Y0, Z0 and is parallel to this vector B, we can write the parametric and symmetry equations in terms of this form. Means that if we refer back, we have here our P0 is 2, 4, negative 1. We have vector V which is equal to 4i plus 5j 
minus 7 k. So in this case, when we want to find our symmetry equation, we can write it as x equal to x0 plus 80. Our x0 is given by 2. Means that 2 plus, which is our a, is given by 4. So 2 plus 4, t. y equal to y0, which is 4. This is y0 and this is our b. So 4 plus, which is b here, 5, t. And z equal to z0 which is negative 1 minus 7 t. This is your z naught and this is your c. And this one is a parametric form of equation. And then we write in terms of symmetric form. You can transform this one into symmetric form by written our t as a subject. Means that we have here for the first equation t x minus 2 divided by 4. For the second equation t equal to y minus 4 divided by 5 and for the third equation we have here t equal to plus 1 divided by negative 7 and then we have another question that the question asks us to find another two points on this l means that we have to set for example t equal to any kind of value Let's say I set here t equal to 1. So I will have here x equal to 2 plus 4 times 1 which is equal to 6. And y equal to 4 plus 5 times 1 which is equal to 9. And z equal to negative 1 minus 7 times 1 which is equal to negative 8. Means that if you see I have point x, y and z so this is one point on l line which is here six nine negative eight let's say we set t equal to two so we'll have here x equal to two plus four times two which is equal to ten and then we have y equal to four plus five times two which is equal to fourteen and z equal to negative 1 minus 7 times 2 which is equal to negative 15. So we have here another point on L which is 10, 14 and negative 15. So here we have answered this question means that the first solution that you have this one as your parametric equation and this one is your symmetry equation and here is another two points on L line.